Alexander Zolkin from Russia, now based in Columbus, Ohio, against Tony Tubbs, the former world champion. Well, ladies and gentlemen, top rank incorporated along with your undisputed, undefeated king of beers, Budweiser. This Bud's for you. Present the featured bout of the evening. This contest is sanctioned by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board, Boxing Commissioner Larry Hazard Sr., Chairman Jerry Gormley, Board Members Gary Shaw and Al Daniels, Deputy Commissioner Lawrence Wallace. Our three physicians are Chief Physician Dr. Frank B. Doggett, Attending Physicians Dr. Earl Shaw and Dr. Ken Remsen. The timekeeper is Earl Curry. The North American Boxing Federation supervisor in attendance at ringside is Sammy Macias. And the three judges assigned are Al DeCesar, Joe A. Ware Sr., and Gene Williams. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from top ranked boxing on ESPN, uh, let's get ready to rumble! 12 rounds of boxing for the NABF Heavyweight Championship. When the bell rings, the man in charge of the action referee, Ed Cotton. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner and wearing red trunks with white letters. He weighs 255 pounds and comes to us from Cincinnati, Ohio. His professional record, 40 victories with 21 KOs against six defeats. Tonight, he is the challenger and he is the former heavyweight champion of the world. Tony TNT Tom. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the red trunks and weighing in at 244 pounds. This native of Russia now lives and fights out of Columbus, Ohio, and brings a professional record of 22 and 2. 15 of his 22 victories by KO. He's ranked number one in the world by the World Boxing Organization. Ladies and gentlemen, the NABF heavyweight champion, Alex Zolkin. So Michael Buffer then sets the scene. Zolkin making the second defense of his North American Boxing Federation title. The one he won beating, well, rather average Rocky Papelli in three. One defense, beating Burt Cooper in nine rounds. And you've got to go back a long way to find uh, Tubbs as world champion, back to 1985, in fact, when he beat a rather ordinary Greg Page in Buffalo, New York, over 15 rounds to become WBA champion. Right, round one. This one scheduled for 12. And uh, just to, goes to show you how far Tubbs has slipped. In March of this year, he fought the very poor Andre Crowder and knocked him out, not surprisingly. And uh, just last year, the end of the last year, in fact, he fought for the International Boxing Organization Heavyweight Championship, was uh, outscored by the New Zealander Jimmy Thunder. Anyway, the man of the moment is the uh, Russian Alexander Zolkin. Nothing spectacular about Zolkin. Just a reasonable worker. The one thing that makes this fight reasonably interesting to British fight fans is the fact that Zolkin is ranked number one by the WBO in the heavyweight division, and uh, he's about to square off with Herbie Hyde, the former champion, to try and regain his old title. So a chance to see how Hyde will fare against this Southpaw Zolkin. Zolkin, rather static, and that, of course, will be right up uh, High Street. He likes to flit around the ring, but can he do it for 12 rounds? So a nice right lead, Zolkin. And rather surprisingly, Tubbs is actually moving completely the wrong way against the southpaw. He should be moving to his own left to try and take out the jab of Zolkin and also nullify the left cross. But he's not doing that. <laughs> and really tough is playing right into Zolkin's hands here. Zolkin having the better of things so far. Well inside the last minute. 
That's a fair left hand from Zolkin on the inside. And uh, last 15 seconds of round one. Looks like Zolkin might just have done enough to take this opener. Six feet five inches tall. Zolkin against six feet two and a half of Tony Tubbs. And I think Zolkin might just have won the opener. Not by much. And uh, you might remember also that uh, Tubbs lost his WBA title in his first defence in 86 to Tim Witherspoon. That's one more shot at Glory in 88. Four for the undisputed titles against uh, Mike Tyson in Tokyo who was stopped in two rounds. The fourth for the NABF title against All In Norris. He declared no decision after 12 rounds. Tubbs, of course, uh, <laughs> sniffing an illegal substance. And in 1991, this man, Tubbs, fought Riddick Bowe, lost on point over 10 rounds. Some people thought he beat Bow that night. So round two then. Now, Tubbs is cagey enough to give Zolkin a hard time here. But Zolkin out to revenge a previous loss to Tubbs back in 1993. That might have been Tubbs' best recent win, in fact. Although he won that uh, Mississippi heavyweight tournament all over three rounds, he was the eventual champion there. I think Zolkin's the last named opponent he beat. Tubbs trying to steal in and out. And when I said there's nothing really spectacular about Alexander Stolkin, what I meant to say was uh, there's nothing too great about this man. He's determined, that's for sure. And he's only lost twice, one of, of course, to the man he faces here. The other one for the USBA title against Mike Hunter. Lost on points over 12 rounds. Hunter just a bit too uh, tricky for Zolkin that night. And there's no doubt in my mind anyway that uh, Herbie Hyde would beat Tony Tubbs. So let's just see. If Zolkin doesn't beat Tubbs, he's got very little chance of beating Hyde, although I must admit it's styles that make fights and not results. And that's a nice attack there by Zolkin. Tubbs looking pretty disorganised at that. Tony Tubbs has had a few injury problems approaching this one. Threatened to pull out just a few days before the fight. Got a left shoulder injury by all accounts. But the thing is about Tubbs, he's, he's really, he's the beggar. Again, nice work there by Zolkin. No one's going to do Tubbs any favours. He's got to go out there and try and win some respect. And that's nice work by Alexander Zolkin. Former Russian amateur champion, of course. Okay, so stop one, stop one. Good job, stop one, stop one. Okay, go on, go on. Well, it looks like Zolkin's taken the first two, but a much better round there, I thought, for Tony Tubbs. And that's Zolkin's thing. If you give him an inch, he'll take it. Go. So, round three. And you also remember that we bought you Tony Tubbs against Lionel Butler. Butler did him in a round. 
And uh, Tubbs looked uh, a very jaded individual that night. Tubbs, 37 years of age now. So big rights there from Tony Tubbs, the second one missed. And if Falcon can stand there and take these punches from Tony Tubbs, it's really going to wreck Tubbs' confidence. Nice right again from Tubbs. And once again, Zolkin didn't budge. It's ominous. The record of Tubbs is at 40 wins, only six losses, and 21 of those wins inside the limit. So Zolkin's won 22 of his 24 with 15 stoppages. The sneak right hand from Tubbs. But I don't think it's going to be enough. Just pot shot him with a right, looking to cause some damage. And uh, of course, at 37 years of age, not being in the best of shape, Tubbs is going to he's going to have trouble trying to match the pace of Zolkin. Oh, good right again from Tubbs there. Well, who knows? That might make a difference. I don't think it will. And uh, little right there from Zolkin. And once again, Tubbs just trying to kind of old man him out of this, really. And Tubbs, been a pro for 15 years, trying to call on that experience here, but uh, there's no substitute for being fighting fit. It's a pretty level round at the moment. Maybe Tubbs might just be sneaking this one. Two rounds to one, possibly, after three. Hello, I'm Wayne Rainey. Come follow the Grand Prix this year with me on Eurosport. As the fast men trek around the world in the hunt for the world title, Eurosport brings you every race of every Grand Prix of the World Championship live. 125, 250 and 500cc. Argentine 500cc Motorcycle Grand Prix. The qualifying Saturday live at 7.45pm. The race Sunday live at 4pm on Eurosport. From Tuesday the 26th of September. The World Cycling Championships on Eurosport. Possibly uh, Tony Tubbs might just have added enough punches to sneak that round. And both these men now hailing from the same state. Tubbs from Cincinnati, Ohio. And Zolkin, of course, from Columbus, Ohio. Well, Zolkin obviously been told, don't let this man kid you. Don't let him steal things. Go and keep him under pressure. Once again, Tubbs lands a swift jab there. And again, Tubbs just chanting the right.
And Zolkin's about as colourful as a Russian car, I'm afraid. And it's a good job Tubbs isn't five years younger. Tubbs. And uh, this WBO title really, not this one, this is the North American Boxing Federation title, but uh, Sarkin, as I say, number one contender. He can't afford to lose this one, otherwise he might just lose that ranking as well. In fact, he certainly would. Well, it looks like Tubbs might be winning this round as well. Well, I think Tony Tubbs might just have landed enough sneaky punches to win Go. round four, to level things up. Just try and remind you of the current heavyweight champions at the moment. Riddick Bow was WBO champion, he threw it away. Michael Moore threw it away. Strange, isn't it? Who'd want that? But as I say, Zolkin will face Herbie Hyde for the vacant title. Bruno is WBC champion now, of course, having dethroned Oliver McCall. George Foreman is World Boxing Union champion, having been stripped of his uh, IBF, WBA and WBC. Bruce Seldon, of course, is the WBA champion. And Seldon, he was beaten by Tubbs back in 1992 on points over 10 rounds. moment Tubbs is getting in scoring and getting out again without uh, this big man catching him and that's what this game's all about and Zolkin is allowing Tubbs to take the pace here Zolkin really needs to start, try and take over behind that uh, double jab Always been a good punch for him. No good to throw it singly. Looking to try and set Tubbs up with a left cross. Good job. A minute to go. Well, Zolkin there gets through the right hook. Tubbs doesn't look too bothered by it. And one more win worth mentioning on the Tubbs record was back in 85. The beat to Bone Crusher Smith just before the fight with Greg Page, where he became WBA champion. Well, Zolkin now sticking close here and connecting. But uh, not too many of those punches getting through cleanly. There's not been much in round five, really. So I'm going to call that one level. Up a little bit. 
Zolkin came on well at the end of that uh, fifth round, but uh, Tubbs did most of the good stuff early on, I thought. So, 48 points each on my card. After five, and we enter Go. round six. Tony TNT Tubbs. Boxing from memory, really. And at one time, of course, a Russian against an American. But of course, a few political ripples. But uh, these days, well, it's getting quite a few Eastern Bloc fighters getting based in the States and doing well. Well, this is better now for Zolkin. And that might just be the secret for Alexander Zolkin, not to give Tubbs the room to escape. But Tubbs can fight, backed up, we've seen that in the past. And of course, this might all just come Watch down Watch let's go. Let's go. Let's to go. Let's ambition. Go. Has Tubbs got any left? Watch your head. Let's go. Watch your head. Both of them. Both of them. Watch your head. Yeah. OK, back up. Watch your head. Let's go. Oh, again, a sneak right from Tubbs. Couldn't follow it up, but that time he did. Lovely whipping right cross from Tubbs. OK, hold, hold, hold. hold. So, a couple of nice looking punches from Tubbs so far in round six, but uh, can he keep it up? Once again, we're getting single punches from Tubbs. And that's a lovely right there from Tony Tubbs. And again, that time it uh, landed on the glove. And, well, Zolkin taking these very manfully. Oh. OK, stop punching, stop punching. Stop well, punching. Herbie Hyder, stop punching. a much smaller man, of course, than Zolkin, who's six feet five. And uh, Hyde, a very sharp puncher. But uh, if Zolkin can take these big wallops from Tony Tubbs, I'll tell you what, I don't think you're going to have too much trouble taking them from Herbie Hyde. All right, break, stop punching, let's go. Good job. Well, looks like Zolkin lost that one. Very little in round six, I thought. But, uh, well, Tubbs might just have taken it. This is the halfway stage, round seven. And Zolkin needs a good round here. I've got him a point behind now. Having made the better start. I thought he won the first two, but uh, only won three of the last four. Sorry, my apologies. He hasn't won any of the last four, but I thought he levelled one of them. So... Uh, Things could be slipping away from him. And Zolkin is incredibly pedestrian. But he's brave. He's got a good chin. And his skills aren't bad. But his attitude is incredibly Russian. You know, I'm talking about from a fighter's standpoint. Zolkin, a very quiet, unassuming type of fella. Of course, he is the champion here. Let's not forget, Zolkin is defending for the second time his North American Boxing Federation heavyweight title. 
So Zolkin after revenge here. And in fact there's lots at stake for Zolkin. His number one contender status with the WBO. His status as NABF champion. And basically his future. Zolkin ranked number 15 by the Indi World, Independent World Boxing Rankings and uh, Tugwell is still up there in the top 20 at number 19. Nice left hook from Tubbs. Well, this one getting a wee bit hard to score now. His round's getting quite close. All right, stop punching, stop punching, stop punching. Step back. There you go. Fuck guy, Alex, fuck guy! All right, stop punching, stop punching. Let's go! So Tendigo then in the seventh round. It's a very close round. This looks like a level one. Stop on, stop on, stop on. Pick him up, stop on. Nice job, folks. Nice job. Back him up. Okay. Yeah, that's level for me. <laughs> round eight then of the scheduled 12 rounder. And uh, well, I've still got Zolk in a point behind with 67. Well, Tubbs enjoying himself out there. And Alexander Zolkin has got a problem when he pops out that right jab. Suddenly, Tubbs stands his ground and bangs over the right just like that. And you can see there, Zolkin trying to keep that left hand up nice and high. Well, that's a fair body shot from Zolkin. Well, I disagree. And I think a workmanlike performance from Zolkin from this stage onwards could uh, win him this. But he's always got to be so careful. I do understand that that uh, Herbie Hyde fight with the winner of this match will take place in England sometime in the autumn. Stop punch, stop punch, stop heads up. There you go, back up. Nice fight again from Tubbs. But this is a pretty reasonable round so far for Zolkin. Nothing spectacular from him, just boxing. And he doesn't want to drop that right hand and allow Tubbs to pot shot. Don't try and keep it up. Okay, stop punching. There you go. Step back. We got a nice job, folks. Back him up. All right, step back, step back. Come on, let him go, let him go. Is Tubbs conditioned sufficiently to do 12 rounds? Well, a pretty negative round so far from Subs, this one. And uh, Zolkin looks like he's put enough punches together to win this eighth round. Let's go, let's go. And level things up on my card, anyway. But there'll still be four rounds left after this. And uh, I'm sure Tubbs is going to push him very close over the home straight. Steven Siegel is back in action in Under Siege 2, and here's your chance to escape to LA courtesy of Warner Brothers and Eurosport. You and a guest can experience five days of excitement and thrills, including tickets to Six Flags California and a tour of the Warner Brothers studio. Lucky runners-up receive Under Siege 2 soundtrack CDs. So take a chance by playing on the Eurosport hotline now. 
Under Siege 2, this time it's terror by train. The Diamondback World Champs. Downhill and cross country through the Black Forest, but this is no piece of cake. They're racing for the world title. This program is brought to you on Eurosport by Shimano. And Isostar. The Diamondback Mountain Bike World Champs. Sunday 1pm, Monday 4pm on Eurosport. So 77 points each after eight rounds, in my opinion. And we've got four rounds to go. Bit of replay here from that eighth. Who would your money be on at this stage, I wonder? Round nine. And, uh, well, regardless of whether it's NABF or USBA, those just seem to be convenient labels for fights these days. Doesn't mean a great deal. And I must admit, I'm a big fan at the moment of those fighters who will say, hey, you don't need to fight for your title. It's a good match that people will pay to see it. We don't have to call it anything. We will fight for nothing if that's the case. And that's Tony's mum. But, uh, well, it looks like Zock is doing pretty well so far. Of course, his youth and strength will tell over the final stages. Let's hope she doesn't dive in the ring with her shoe when Tony gets under some kind of pressure. An allusion there, of course, to the uh, Tony Wilson-Steve McCarthy fight, in which I had the pleasure of shooting. Well, now Tubbs coming back. That's just what he was waiting for, just a, a little break in the storm. Tubbs, but uh, I don't think it's going to be enough. He's had uh, three or four of those land so far in this ninth round, but it's about all he's done. Tubbs very, very tired. And those body shots from Vulcan earlier on have taken their toll on this 37-year-old's uh, legs. Tubbs then, slipping, last 30 seconds of the ninth. Let his hands go, let his hands go. All right, come on, stop punching, stop that. We got it, nice job, fellas. Good round, this one for Zolkin. And it comes at a very important time, really, because if this had been a poor round for Alexander, well, Tubbs could just about raise his spirits, I think, to put things together over the last three. Time! But uh, I don't think he can do that now. Well, once again, the lead has slipped. 87-86 now in favour of Zolkin for me as we come up for the tenth round. Three to go. And Tubbs not exactly keen to get this one on in round 10. And really, Zolkin is so ordinary. But he's had the results. Never, bought, never really beat anyone of any great substance, to be honest with you. Uh, with the exception of Burt Cooper. Burt Cooper has spent fourth today. Lean up, lean up, 
once again. Just solid work there from Zolkin. Just keeping uh, himself in front. And of course, keeping Tubbs occupied and under pressure. And while Zolkin's working, Tubbs can't. When Zolkin stands back and hesitates, Tubbs does land the odd right hand. And it's the best chance he's got, of course. Stop punching, stop punching, stop punching. Let's watch his head, both of you. Come on. Come on, let it go, let it go, let it go. All right, stop punching, stop punching, stop punching. Stop punching. A minute to go then, in the 10th round. And uh, well, in spite of 15 knockouts on his record, I don't think you could regard Alex Zolkin as a dynamic puncher. Not in the same league as Lyle Butler, that's for sure. But uh, he's solid with it, you know. Oh, Tubbs now, trying to rouse himself a big finish of this round. He needs it. Long left hand. Stop punching. Pick him up. Pick him up. Let him go, Tony. Let him go. Let him go, Tony. Let go. So a few seconds left then in round 10. And uh, with the exception of the odd spurt from Tubbs, been a good round again for Zolkin. Okay, step back. Step back. Step back. Step back. Step back. Step back. Nice job. Let's go to the corner. So now a two point gap. Zolkin, 97-95 up. Don't let him lull you to sleep. You know, he's doing nothing and you're after him and after him and then he tries to come at you. Deep breath. Deep breath. All right, I'm fine. Suck it up. You the man. You're the man, he said, as we come up for the penultimate round then. This is the 11th. Well, it's still mathematically possible on my card for Tubbs to scrape a draw here. But, uh, well, it just doesn't look likely, does it? He's tiring with every second. Nice long left there from Zolkin. Who's really no better today than he was the day he started. But it looks like he's going to gain revenge over Tony Tubbs, simply because Tubbs is a, a couple of years older and uh, less ambitious than he was in 93. And for sure, Zolkin's learnt in his career, but uh, you'd be very hard pushed if you looked at films of his first fight and films of his 25th uh, fight. Not much of a difference between them. Unlike Tubbs, of course, you go back to when he was 27, 10 years ago, and uh, he was fairly lively. Awkward right there, followed by a left cross from Zolkin. And uh, Tubbs under pressure now, hurt by that long left hand. But he's got the experience to kid Zolkin. Those walkabouts. And again, a long left hand from Zolkin, but uh, those little body punches, especially the right hook to the ribs, have taken their toll on Tubbs. There you go. Step out. So just over a minute to go then in this penultimate round. And uh, well, I just wonder how Tony's mum feels about this now. Looks like her son's going to get beaten. And uh, if he does, it'll only be his seventh loss in his career. And 
Tubbs, well, he felt he could win this with a big punch coming into the fight. Well, I think he's proved to himself that he can't. Well, we're possibly looking at a has-been against a probable never-will-be in the shape of uh, Wells Vulcan, although he's won the round. A couple of sticky moments there for him. Well, three points to the gap now in favour of Vulcan on my card as we come into this 12th and final round. Looks like Zolkin is going to do two things. Revenge a previous defeat, only one of two on his card. And of course, retain his NABF title. But uh, perhaps more importantly, retain his number one position with the WBO. And that potentially lucrative match with Herbie Hyde in a month or two. Ooh, good shot there by Tubbs. And again, well... It only takes one in the right place at the right time. And who knows? I've certainly got Tubbs needing a knockout to win this. Interesting to see how the scores are. Well, I've got it uh, much closer than that. It's been hard work this one. All right, stop punching, stop punching. Let him go, let's go, step back. Come on. Let's go. Referee Ed Cotton working hard now in this last round. And well, Tubbs there on a swing and a prayer, really. Head down, eyes shut, just letting them go. But Tazolkin is moving away from them. It looks like Tubbs knows he needs a knockout to win this one. And I'm sure it's not going to come. He's got to, just about 10 seconds to find it. Too late now. And suddenly Tubbs gets a second win, but it's much, much too late. Well, there might not be a great deal in the final round, but Zolkin might just have won it. 117113 on my card. I have to wait now for the judges' official scoring. Yeah, that was a tough fight. And gentlemen, we but, go uh, to the score here we go. Cards. Gene Williams scores the bout 114 to 114, oh, cool. even. Joe A. Werner seems to be about 116 to 113, and Alba Caesar has it 115 to 113 for the winner by majority decision, and still... So, a majority points winner then, Alexander Zolkin. Two judges voted to him very closely. Okay. I'd like to say that we weren't too far out. I think we're for four rounds. Can't just the man you will have seen in the Olympic Games in Barcelona. One David Aizan Litai of Nigeria, now boxing out of France, managed and promoted by the